Captain Seth Lido, pristine Florida fishing. It's a glorious day to be on the water. That it is. We're gonna hammer grouper and then we're gonna go dive down and see what we hammered, what their house looks like. Awesome. He's gearing up his pole. What are you what are you putting on? We got a 50 pound main line and then we're gonna try 60 pound leader. See if it, sometimes you get more bites with the, the smaller leader. We use 60 to 80 pound tests. And uh, so we're gonna start out with 60. If we get broke off quite a bit, we're gonna move to the beefier stuff. But we want the bites first. This eat. Captain Seth is currently chumming. We're gonna see if we can hook into a grouper. We'll chum it up, get them into a feeding frenzy, and then we'll drop the big baits down and hope that they're there. They're there. We just gotta get them to feed heavily. So the chumming, it sparks them. If they're not eating now, with this, they'll turn on, so. You're chumming with frozen greenback? Yeah, I do a combination of the dead baits, frozen ones that I netted before, and I just froze them and keep them out here, get them to the in the water, and then I'll put the live ones out. And this gets them going too. Put the live ones out, you'll see them start to bust on top, and that's when you know you're ready to drop the big baits down. All right, we'll see if they come. All right, after we've chummed for a while, we put a bigger bait on, we'll drop this down the bottom and see if they're eating now. That was quick. Yeah, it doesn't take long. Another, another cast. Ah, oh, you're on a rock, aren't you? Wait a minute. Captain Seth Lido. First one in the boat, a little red. Third cast. That's pretty quick. Took a matter of two minutes. Just need the big boys to show up. That's a nice looking fish. That's pretty looking. That's a nice looking fish. All right, let's put them back. Usually when you roll up here and drop it down, it's instant. We just got our first keeper of the day. It's not bad. So that's a uh, which kind of? This group? is a gag grouper. That is sweet looking fish. A pretty good looking fish. Really good eating fish. So we're out here, less than 30 foot of water. It's actually 24 feet. Pulling in keeper grouper. Awesome. Woohoo! All right. Goes. Boys down. He just caught one. I wasn't quick enough to get the camera. But he's down there. Ready to get chomped. There he goes. Get him up. Get him up. Woo! All right. It's a monster. <laughs> Very nice. Too shabby. Next one. Nice. Red. Nice sheep. Those reds are pretty, aren't they? They sure are. There's Johnny boy with one just under. Good fighters, though. Now we're rocking and rolling. Captain Seth just pulled another one in. Bites back on. Bites back on. All of a sudden, rock and roll. Chum out there, and they turn on. 
And yeah, we found the last grouper I had had chum in his mouth. On to the next. kingfish. Captain Seth into a kingfish and it's running. I think it's a kingfish. Or something. Around so you can hear it a little bit. Every time I turn it off, it runs. What were you top watering a greenback? Yeah, Is he running toward you? Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Looks like he's pretty good size. Can't put too much pressure to these things because they're you'll pull the hook on them. Oh wow, it's Benita and you got him in the side. That's some really nice that colors. That's one of those uh, false albacore, bonita. They little tuny. Ah, uh, little tuny. That's right, little tuny. Awesome.